Howdy, howdy, my friends. This is Justice, and welcome to the Southern Skunk, where the videos might stink, but like a skunk, they're kind of cool. Most people say, gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Around here, we like to say, let the skunk spray. Nonetheless, we're going to a gutter cleaning job today. I know if you've seen my last videos over basically the last year or so, they've strictly been appliance repair. Appliance repair is fine, but what I would really like to do is outdoor work. And a couple years ago, I tried to do an exterior cleaning um, company and didn't go that great. But I got a new fire underneath me and if that's what I want to do then I really need to commit and go all in for it so trying to start that up again ran some Facebook ads and actually got a job book for this week uh, this is the week of spring break and <clears throat> my wife decided that her and I were gonna be sick during the spring break so <clears throat> have not felt good at all but nonetheless we're up and at them this morning headed to do a gutter cleaning job. I'll show you guys the site once we get there. Thanks for tuning in. So, just pulled up to a house. Thank goodness, ladies and gentlemen, it is a small house. I'm actually pretty excited about this because I was concerned I might pull up to like a mansion or something. I looked at it on maps, but it wouldn't get me a street view. It didn't look that big, but this is perfect. I uh, met the guy, seemed really nice. And, uh, I'm kind of see if I can show you the house. Pretty small house. Alright, ladies and gents, this is the back side of the house. We got gutters here. I also have gutters running down here and around, so nothing too bad. It's been, it's been raining here. Need to clean this out. And then the gutters are just full of this crap. The easiest way I've found to do this is really just I scoop it all into one giant pile here at the end. And then I grab it and I put it in my bucket. So I'm going to leave that bucket, let it get full, and then show it to the customer at the end along with some before and after pictures. But. This was a problem. All right, folks, that was our first house right there. We are finished. So that concludes our first job. We got paid $120. The guy gave me a $20 tip. Now, a few things to keep in mind. I did take the downspouts apart. One of them was fine. Two of them were really bad. Um, that's really easy. You just need a, a quarter inch socket, um, put it on a drill and get those screws out of there super duper easy to take off and put back together i've actually never done that before but i did it today it was easy clean those out um one thing i went and i told the owners afterwards was that they had a portion of their gutters where their downspout was over here where my where my elbow is so naturally it should have at least a little bit of slant right here i mean that's common sense so that gravity will pull that rainwater down the downspout but with the downspout being over here at my elbow, it was tilted this way a little bit. So all the water was just pulling up right here. So their gutter was just sitting there with water in a certain portion of it. So I called them back there, told them about that situation. They were very grateful about it. Again, I got a $20 tip. I tried to be very professional. I tried to be very thorough. It's my only job, guys. So sure, oh, you should have, this took you two hours. This should only been 30 minute job, cool. I get it. I don't have any other jobs. I like being outside. I like standing on people's roofs. I like crawling around. I like getting my hands dirty. So why do I want to hurry up and do a job and only take 30 or 45 minutes? Could I do that? Sure. When I have a lot more jobs, will I do that? I will try. But that's all I had to do today. It was fun. I enjoyed it. The weather was nice. Got a $20 tip. And um, 
Anyways, I went and knocked on one of the neighbor's door. They didn't answer. Uh, the people that I was working for said all the other people around there basically rent and renters normally aren't gonna put a lot of money into their house because they kind of look at that as like the landlord's job to put money into maintaining the house for gutter cleaning, doing all that type of stuff. But I saw this decently nice house in, on the corner uh, down at the very end of the street. It was a dead end. So I drove down there and I got out and I knocked on the lady's door. And she popped out through the garage and she's like, hey, sorry, I had to come out this way because there are two big old dogs that would try to attack you if I come out the front door. I said, yes, ma'am, I completely understand that. Thank you very much. Nonetheless, she came out. She was super duper nice. She talked to me for like five minutes. She said she's been doing a lot of work on her house, this, that, and the other. She said gutter cleaning is one thing she's needing to get done on her house. She's not doing it right now because she's a school teacher, so she's kind of focused on that. She said once summer comes around, she will definitely be giving me a call because this is a service she's actually wanting right now. And she was actually really happy that I came and I knocked on her door and handed her my card. And trust me, if you've ever done any door knocking or handing out business cards, most people aren't that grateful when you hand them your card. But she was super nice, and I actually do expect to get a call from her eventually, at some point at least, to get like a quote or whatever. But um, nonetheless, overall, fantastic time. Made 120 bucks. I didn't have anything else to do on this Friday morning. So thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, we'll see if I got anything else. Kind of just making this short little portion right here for myself, but I'll probably go ahead and add it into the video. Some things that I could do better. One thing, I need to take some like uh, quarter, uh, almost like sheet metal screws for those downspouts because I did like drop one or two of those and it was hard to find. So I need to have some more of those. Um, another thing I need to have is I need like an eight foot ladder. <clears throat> I've got an extension ladder and I've got like a six foot ladder, just fold out ladder. I need like an eight foot fold out ladder. Um, and then what else was I thinking about? Oh yeah, a tool belt would be nice. This is because when you're trying to get stuff um, out of gutters and you got your gloves on and you're needing to grab some screws for a downspout or you're needing to stick something somewhere to get something out of it i don't know anyways it would just be easier to have a tool belt so i can have everything i need whether it was pliers whether it was a drill whether it was screws or whatever have you uh, that would have made my job a lot easier today um, what else i don't know i'm gonna keep thinking about that job and some things that i had trouble with or some things that were kind of annoying and see if I can't think of better ways to do them but it wasn't a bad job I was just kind of all over the place which I already knew I was gonna be I only had one job like I said blah 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 I'll get better at it I just wanted to see if this would work and it worked so pretty happy about this and, and moving forward but nonetheless guys this is where the video is going to come to an end scared money doesn't make money ladies and gentlemen so like they say let the skunk spray wait 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 one more thing before the skunk starts spraying pouring rain it rained all day yesterday it drizzled a little bit this morning i did not like that job due to that everything was muddy the the uh the gutters were muddy it was gunky i was working in slop when stuff was falling down onto their back porch or whatever it was just mud the leaves were stuck to everything if i did it when it was dry then i could get a leaf blower blow everything out i'd be working with harder stuff that wouldn't be so gucky monkey gucky i don't know if any of those are words but you're getting the point it would be easier if everything was dry it would have been way 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 quicker but i was playing with mud boys and girls mud in gutters that was not fun that is the one thing i would fix i would wait for it to dry up a little bit if i had a choice